All right, so what I've done is uh, started up with the, uh, the WY2P tube. Um, again, this is a 75 volt uh, regulator tube. And what we do in this particular tester is uh, we'll first check the voltage. I'll show how to do that in a moment. This is the setting on the GS5A for the voltage check for the regulator tubes. This is the button we push for test. And we want to make sure that we're within this band right here um, for a good tube. Now again, ideally we'd be 75 volts. Um, this particular brand, which is the, the Hang Zhao tube um, here in China, is pretty darn good. If I get a box of 50, um, you'll see a variation anywhere from 7, maybe 74 to maybe 75.5. Not bad at all, at least for the, for the newer tubes. All right, so what we're going to do, push the test button. And let me explain the scale for a moment. Um, we go from 60 to 120 volts here. And if you look at this, so I've got one, two, three, four divisions between the 60 and the 120. Um, therefore, each of these is 12 volts. So that would be 72, 84, uh, 96, 108, and 120. What it really means is when we're reading our scale down here, each of the minor divisions on the scale is 2.4 volts. So if we look closely, 60, and we've got, um, there's a shadow on this needle, but I'm, from where I'm looking directly on top of it, we've got six divisions. So in that case, we're at 74.4 volts on this particular tube. And sometimes I found it convenient to actually take the magnifier on these types of testers and go right on and uh, read it quite accurately. And now what we do is we're going to pull this pin out, this particular pin, and that'll change the current. These 75 volt regulator tubes will operate between a minimum of 5 milliamp up to 40 milliamp uh, and uh, still stabilize the voltage. So we're going to pull this pin, we'll change the current through the tube, and what we're looking for in this particular tube is that the voltage drop should be less than 6.5 volts. Um, I think the specification for the in the US this may be closer to a voltage drop of 4 or 4.5. Be that it is made for the Chinese tubes, this is what the specification is. If I pull the pin and now I want to look back at this display, so I pull the pin and it looks as though we go down by one division, so we go down by 2.4 volts. You can see a change in the, the tube, but the voltage um, itself quite constant. All right. And of course I've seen other tubes we get no variation at all. Um, at least a variation that we can actually read. So good tube. So that's how we would test a typical voltage regulator tube on the GS5A um, tube tester. This tube tester by the way is equivalent to the uh, the old Russian ones which was the IL-14. It's also a, another I-3-3 I believe um, which is a a, uh, another version of this. The uh, Chinese back in the 60s obviously had worked with the Russians. Um, this is essentially a carbon copy of it. A beautiful, beautiful machine. If you can get your hands on one of these. Um, it's just an outstanding machine. And I've got, of course got Hickox and, and uh, other tube testers. Um, but this is the one that I probably like the most.